this is Rob, Longevity Learning Lab. Over the weekend, I was in the middle of a project uh, working on a fence, but uh, part of the fence went over a retaining wall. So a uh, retaining wall is kind of beat up, so I just got to make a little bracket here like that and weld it up. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to use our 250EX and uh, just going to stick weld it. And uh, they were saying, well, Rob, why don't you just make a whole video on it? Up update our video, because I guess they've made one before. I said, okay. So uh, first I'll show you how to stick weld with this, and then we'll go ahead and show you what else it comes with. And uh, sounds like a video for me, and uh, we'll get right at it. Okay, well, here's the TIG Weld 250EX. And uh, like I was saying, I got just a piece of square uh, tubing and an angle iron, and we're just gonna weld the bracket on there so we can go ahead and we'll pop the holes in it and put the wedges in the side of the retaining wall because this post goes over the edge a little bit. Another story. Anyway, we're, we're just gonna be doing just the stick welding on it, <clears throat> and then real easy unit, I'll show you how to set up the control panel for the arc, uh, the arc welding, the stick welding, and uh, we'll go from there, I'll weld this up, and then after that, I'll show you what else comes with this. The TIG stinger, the foot pedal, the gauges, the hoses, the nine yards on that. But let's get this out of the way so that I can concentrate on the other stuff. Okay, here's, here's the front of the unit. Now, I already got it turned on, the, the switch is in the back, and even for the air fitting uh, for the gas, and it's in the back also. So what I got going on here first is I got it set with the green blinking light. That's set for your stick welding, okay? And then pretty much the rest of it you don't have to mess with, okay? You've got the it going on the DC positive. So when I want to go ahead and change my amps, just go for the first the center button, just like that. That you see how it goes up and down. I'm I'm gonna go a little little cooler than hundred. I'm gonna go about eighty. And uh, because I'm using a, a thinner rod. And then it's on program one, right? So that's my first program. So if I want to keep that 80 amps for my arc welding to set up, then I just push the button to set it. Then that number one will start blinking. And that's your first program, okay? So say for instance, whatever I'm doing, it's gonna go to that program. So if I want to arc weld, Go program one, and it'll always go right to that first amps. That's just showing you that that's the program. So when I want to hook up my leads, I'm going for the, the DC. So I've got my DC positive. This is your positive side here. This will be your ground, okay? So you just put that in there like that. It'll lock in and put that onto your, your table. Bam. Then for your stinger, you put it on the other side, and they lock in. So now I'm getting ready to weld my work, and I'm gonna be at the, where am I at? There we go. At the 80 amps on the first program. We're good to go on this. So let me go ahead and get my hood, and we'll weld up that little bracket, then we'll go and we'll deal with all the other fittings and the other processes of the welder. Okay, here are those brackets I was talking about. And what it is, you figure, here's like the retaining wall, okay? This is gonna hang down. And then underneath, we're going to have the holes, and it goes zaps right in through the hole. So we want it flush on this end. OK, so what I did, I just bevel right in through here. So when it gets welded, it's nice and clean. And then I gave myself a little bit more on each side all the way around, just to give me that eighth of an inch. So when I run the bead, it just fills in. So I'll go ahead, and we'll get this set up. And we'll cheat it. We'll go like this, so we'll know that it's flush on that side. So I just go ahead and we'll clamp it down, and uh, I'll tack it, and uh, we'll run the beads, and I'll show you how the uh, the 250EX runs. Okay, here's this thing. It's clamped up, ready to go. All I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to tack it here in the couple of spots, and run the bead, and uh, so you guys can see how it runs. Watch your eyes. Hey 
gonna keep it like a short arc on it. I'm not gonna run down, down hand. That way it's packed up. You got it clamped. It's not gonna be pretty anyway, but it's gonna be covered with cement. Okay, so that's out of the way there. That's tacked. So then, we just pop these off of here. And we got that. That way when I go to weld it, this is nice and flush right here. See that? Then when I just run the bead and you got that, that structural, structural integrity. So let me show you how it runs on a, on a regular full bead. Okay, now this is our beveled side. Nice and flush, there's gonna be a gap, but I still wanna get that root pass. So here we go. See now I had to be careful there because this is a tube and this is the angle iron. So you got thin wall and you got that all that material right there. And so I didn't want to pop the hole through there. So I could just clean that up and if I have to, I'll go over it again. But that, that was kind of tricky, but that's okay. Going a little hot. That's why I was like jumping and jumping and jumping, but it, that was on purpose. And then on this side, I'll just go ahead and I'll just run the bead all the way across. Maybe a little hotter, but that's not bad. <gasps> that could have gone a little hotter, but that'll work for me. It's only a bracket for a fence anyway. In the last side. Looks like a bracket to me. Well, there it is. That was fast. After hours and hours of painstaking research and development, here's my bracket. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go install this for my buddy on his fence. And uh, I'm going to come back here on the TIGWELD 250EX for the TIG welding and uh, everything else with the pulse, the AC. And uh, yeah, I get this done. And uh, thanks for joining me on Longevity Learning Lab. I'm Rob. We'll see you next time in part two for the 250EX.